kiwi is packed with vitamins and antioxidants. Foods we eat may impact our immune system through the microbiome. Dr. Lee is a world-renowned physician, scientist, and author specializing in groundbreaking research on how food can combat disease. We'll explore the healthiest foods that can starve cancer, kill disease. Dr. Lee often says food is medicine, but what does that actually mean? According to Dr. Lee, the foods we eat don't just fuel us, they actively interact with our biology, influencing our immune system, DNA repair mechanisms, blood vessels, and even our brain health. These interactions determine whether we thrive or fall prey to chronic diseases. Let's start with the foods that starve cancer. These foods work by targeting angiogenesis, preventing tumors from hijacking our blood supply. The microbiome is connected to the uh, immune system, which we know is important because we be now realize that about 70% of our immune systems actually wrap like a jelly roll inside our intestines, and the bacteria talks to our immune system. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter had melanoma that spread to his liver and his brain, and he retired from public life thinking that he was not going to survive. He received one of the biggest breakthroughs in medicine today, which is an immunotherapy that doesn't kill the cancer directly, but uncloaks the cancer from that's been hiding from the immune system to allow a 90-year-old person's immune system to find the tumor as a health defense and to wipe it out. One of the things that's really remarkable is we're beginning to understand that the foods we eat may impact our immune system through the microbiome. And this, and this is, is actually, actually uh, a, a colleague of mine, Laurent Zipogel, Zipogel at, at, in Paris at the, the Institut Gustave Roussy, found that in 200 consecutive patients treated with immune therapy, those patients who responded had one bacteria that the ones who didn't respond did not have in their stool. And that's a bacteria called Acromantia mucinophila, and you can't eat that as a probiotic. You can only eat foods that cause your gut to secrete the mucus that it likes to grow in. And this is now changing the way that we think about um, how cancer patients are fed, because how many p cancer patients that, that you know might be getting an antibiotic unknowingly and wiping out this bacteria that could make the difference between whether they respond or don't respond. This is also beginning to change this. And this is how it works. Number one, pomegranate. Pomegranate, it's got a telogitan, it's bioactive. It causes the gut to secrete the mucus. The bacteria, acromantia grows. It lights up the immune system. So now you have more fortified, more active immune system. Now you hang a bag of immunotherapy and then cancer immunotherapy will then work on and allow the activated immune cells to go find that cancer. This is oversimplified, oversimpl but this is what we believe work. Pomegranates are more than just delicious. They're packed with nutrients and compounds that can transform your health. Let's talk about how they work wonders for your immune system and fight diseases like cancer. First, pomegranates are loaded with antioxidants, especially punicalogens and anthocyanins. These antioxidants protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals, reducing inflammation and keeping your immune system strong. Chronic inflammation is a major player in diseases like cancer, so keeping it in check is critical. What's really fascinating is how pomegranate fights cancer on a cellular level. It blocks angiogenesis, the process tumors use to grow new blood vessels and thrive. By cutting off this supply, pomegranate essentially starves cancer cells, slowing their growth and spread. But the benefits don't stop there. The fruit is also rich in vitamin C and other nutrients that help white blood cells the immune system's warriors work more effectively. Studies have even shown that compounds in pomegranate can trigger cancer cells to self-destruct without harming healthy cells. Number two, broccoli sprout. I just tell you, broccoli sprouts um, uh, also boost the immune system. And this is a study of 29 volunteers who were getting the flu vaccine through a nasal spray. And it found that if they gave them two cups of uh, broccoli sprout uh, uh, a shake uh, as a smoothie a day, combined with the nose spray, they had a 22 times increase in their immune response to the flu vaccine compared to people who didn't have it. So what I've actually showed you is not just food as medicine, but foods and medicine, where what's happening is that the technology that nature relates in the food is meeting the technology that we have within our body. Broccoli sprouts may be small, but they pack a huge punch when it comes to boosting your health and fighting disease. Doctor, William Lee explains that these sprouts are one of the most concentrated sources of sulforaphane, a powerful compound that's a game changer for your immune system and overall wellness. Sulforaphane works on multiple levels. First, it activates your body's detoxification pathways, 
helping you eliminate harmful toxins and repair damaged DNA. This keeps your immune system strong and protects you from illnesses, including cancer. Speaking of cancer, broccoli sprouts are experts in blocking angiogenesis the process that tumors use to grow new blood vessels. By cutting off this supply, they starve cancer cells, slowing their growth while sparing healthy tissues. What's more, these little greens supercharge your immune system by activating natural killer cells, the body's frontline defenders against infection and disease. They even fight chronic inflammation, which is a root cause of many health issues. Number three, kiwi fruit. A kiwi fruit that you might eat at breakfast. You know that brown fuzzy ball you cut it open, it's got this emerald green uh, interior with a little white starburst. You know, it's kind of um, tart and sweet at the same time. Well, that uh, kiwi is packed with vitamins and antioxidants. And it's been shown that eating just one kiwi a day can actually uh, protect you, cause your blood to be fortified to neutralize about 60% of the incoming damage from DNA. This is a really provocative study of kiwi fruit. Two kiwi fruits a day times four days, and you measure the stool in healthy subjects from every single day, and you can see that just having uh, two kiwi fruits in the first 24 hours changes the bacteria that you can measure in the stool by improving the good bacteria as quickly as the first day. And, and over, over four, four days, days, you can, can increase, increase another, another good bacteria, bacteria as well. So, so these changes, changes can be really quick. When it comes to foods that truly pack a punch, kiwi is a shining star. This small, vibrant fruit is brimming with vitamin C, offering more than your daily requirement in a single serving. Vitamin C isn't just for fighting colds, it's a critical nutrient that powers your immune system, helping your body produce more white blood cells to fend off infections. Kiwi also comes loaded with antioxidants like vitamin E and carotenoids. These powerful compounds protect your cells from oxidative stress, which can lead to DNA damage and, over time, increase the risk of cancer. Remarkably, kiwi even supports DNA repair, helping your body fix cellular damage before it becomes a bigger issue. But there's more. Kiwi has natural anti-inflammatory properties that help reduce chronic inflammation a key driver of many diseases, including cancer. Plus, it's a gut health champion, thanks to its fiber and prebiotics, which nurture the good bacteria in your digestive system. Number four and five, yogurt and kimchi. But there are other fermented foods, whether it's pao tsai, kimchi, or uh, a sauerkraut. And these all actually are exposed to the air, healthy bacteria grow in them, we eat them. And over the course of hundreds of years, cultures have realized that this is actually something that can be beneficial to us. Did you know that yogurt and kimchi can supercharge your immune system and even help starve cancer? These fermented foods are packed with probiotics, those friendly bacteria that keep your gut healthy. And since 70% of your immune system lives in your gut, keeping it balanced is crucial. Yogurt, especially the kind with live active cultures, introduces beneficial bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium to your system. These probiotics boost your immune cells, reduce inflammation, and improve your body's natural defenses. Fortified yogurts even contain vitamin D, which is a key player in immune health. Kimchi, on the other hand, is a flavor-packed Korean side dish loaded with probiotics, antioxidants and fiber. Ingredients like garlic, ginger and chili peppers and kimchi don't just spice things up, they have potent cancer-fighting properties. Capsaicin in chili and allicin in garlic, for example, can slow down or even stop cancer cell growth. Fermented foods like these also help your body produce compounds called short-chain fatty acids, which can target and kill cancer cells. Incorporating these foods into your daily diet can transform your health and protect you from some of the most challenging diseases. Remember, it's not about eating perfectly, but about making small, consistent changes that add up over time. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Let us know in the comments. Which of these foods are you excited to add to your meals? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.